if you don't have kids yet, but you want to have kids, take it from me, um, a single mother of 10 years, do not. And I repeat, do not. Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl, Maya Davis here again. You all, this beautiful woman, she came to give advice to young ladies that want to have kids and telling them not to have kids because she's a single mom and I feel like she has made a mistake, but she's just giving like, you know, friendly advice to young girls that want to have kids so fast. So let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back at the end of the video. A single mother of 10 years. Do not, and I repeat, do not have a baby if you do not have a village. Hmm. I love my children, but if I had the choice to not have kids with no village, I wouldn't have kids. Mm. Y'all, when I tell you it's so hard, it's so hard, and I'm trying everything not to give up, not to go crazy. Don't have no kids if you don't have no village. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I did not expect this video to blow up for real. I was just venting. You know, I was in the middle of a mental breakdown and decided to just come on here and just, you know, you know, you know. There's so many questions. Why you keep talking when I'm talking? There's so many questions that I want to answer. Um, I just want to first say thank you guys for being so kind and so encouraging. As many negative comments as it is, there's triple positive comments. And I'm so grateful for that because people are mean, okay? So let me first answer this question. What happened with the father, if you don't mind people asking? I don't mind people asking. All I ask is that you do not judge me when I give you the answers, you know? Okay, so I have four kids. And I um, am not with their fathers. They have different dads. Um, my boy's dad was abusive. He used to beat my ass. <laughs> Amongst so many other things that I will not put on the internet. But um, he was a serial cheater and he was abusive. I have domestic violence cases because of him. Um, and we just, you know, it just wasn't healthy. Now, I know y'all hear the baby in the back, so I do have a new baby. Um, her dad was, is a liar. We weren't together when I got pregnant. It was just kind of a um, one and done kind of situation. And I shouldn't have had, I shouldn't have did it, to be honest. I was celibate and I broke my celibacy for him and ended up with a baby. And when I was pregnant, you know, he promised me the world. Everything was going to be taken care of. I wasn't going to do nothing. He had my back. Everything. I was, trust me, trust me. I already got three kids. I don't want no more children. But I believed his words. And that's my fault. I take full accountability for that. Full accountability. But when the baby came, of course, he didn't hold his word. He didn't do not, nothing that he said he was going to do. Hence, here I am, a single mother of four, having a mental breakdown. Um, I've seen a lot of people ask me, um, why did you keep going? Or like, well, how long did it take you to realize that you didn't have a village while you kept having babies? I first want to say, I didn't have a village for myself. So that right there should have been a red flag to not have kids. But I have a lot of trauma that I went through as a child. And, um, it messed me up. So I, I really, I really didn't know better. And I, and that's just the God's honest truth. I did not know better. I, for some reason, thought that having my own children and treating them right and raising them right would probably heal the inner child in me. Um, boy, was I wrong. 
but I think subconsciously that what that's what happened. But I learned my lesson after my last child, after my last boy. He's five years old right now, and I was done. I didn't have no more children. This was a slip up. I don't want to call her a mistake. Um, but it was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't planned. It was. It was a. You know, it just wasn't supposed to happen. Um, some people ask, what is a village? A village is just a support system. People yeah. who are going to support you because whether you are, whether you're married, single, however, whoever, having a child, raising a child or multiple kids, it's a lot. It's a lot. And they encourage you to have a support system. If you don't have a support system, it's going to be hard. It's going to be mentally draining, mm -hmm. especially if you go through excuse me postpartum depression like i did like i do like i currently am and that's another thing postpartum depression is not talked about enough um and it is dangerous it is very very dangerous if you know a mother who was suffering from postpartum depression please help that mother she's not pretending she's not faking she's not being extra she's not being dramatic as i've seen someone say that i was being dramatic she's being serious and please help her I've seen some people say that I trapped a man because I thought having a baby would keep a man. Listen, <laughs> in my 30 years of being on this earth, mm -hmm. if I ain't learned nothing else, I learned way before I had a baby that a baby don't keep no man. So young girls, if you are thinking about having a baby to keep your man, don't do it. That is the dumbest thing mm -hmm. that you can do. That is the worst mistake that you will make. Mm -hmm. And then for the folks saying, oh, marry before you carry. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know how many single mothers are married? <laughs> a ring don't change a thing. Yes, being married may help, but uh, it's a lot of single mothers out there that got a man, that, that are married, that are married. Um, I see some comments that say, you know, be financially stable. And I will agree with that. If I was where I wanted to be financially, I think it would be a little bit easier because, like I, like they say, I could pay for extra help, you know, pay for a babysitter, pay for night care or, you know, whoever, whatever. Money talk. Money talk, for real. But, y'all, yeah, I'm going to leave right up. Um, if y'all have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Y'all want me to make more videos? I am more than willing to. You know, um, we 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 could be a village. You know, y'all my village. I'm y'all village. I support y'all. Y'all support me. And you know, yeah, that's it. Mwah. All right. If you're still here, let me know your thoughts down comment section. You all the serious heat wave in Nigeria and still sweat. <laughs> I'm going to sweat a lot for the period of, you know, maybe a week or two. I don't know how long this is going to last. But the heat here is intense. Intense. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this video. For me, I feel like this is one of the best advice to give young ladies. Because most of the time, this advice is not given to people that want to give birth or people that want to have children. You just tell them... Oh, what you need to do is just you know get married you know just choose the right man most people don't tell you that okay when you get married and you you've chosen the right man like you supposed to when you give it to that child you need someone else to be there for you aside from the man that is there sometimes the men the man cannot be there as so close to someone like your family probably like your mom your sister, a very close friend that you can, you know, explain things to. And sometimes these men don't might not even feel the way you feel. Sometimes they might change. So having a village before you have a child is necessary. But then how do you trust the village before you have a child? Because sometimes your mother or your mother in law or your sister, your sister in law, anybody can want to vouch that you know what just have this baby i'll be there have this baby i'll be there and when you eventually have the baby they are nowhere to be found so what do you do about that i just feel like before you have a child sit down and be like i got this you know it is me if even though there is no village i won't die because this is what i want i am this is what i want i accept that this is what i want i take full responsibility like you know 
all these things you need to have know that yes we are having this baby for you okay not for anybody else yeah of course there's some advice they are not giving to you when you want to have kids some might not even tell you the main thing you know in fact i feel like one of the best advice to give someone that is that wants to get pregnant or wants to start raising children or just have a child is that anybody can leave you at any time so if you don't want this for yourself you are definitely going to regret it because if you're doing it because you have a village if you think you have a village even before the pregnancy before the childbirth they might not be there after because the village that you think was there anything can happen in a month anything can happen in two months so if you say like oh i already have a village then let me get pregnant before your pregnancy you know get due for you to, to give birth and all of that you might not see the village again the village you look around and the village is not there so i just feel like this all um childbirth thing has to be a personal thing and yeah no hate to the creator everybody has their choices to make and all of that but then let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on post notification bell and get notified when i upload your, another interesting video like this one let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and i'll see you all in my next one Bye.